you, Veg. Go green. Save the planet. Suddenly, I felt myself peel out of my body, and I looked up, and there I was, looking down at my body, thinking, cool, how interesting. No sadness, no happiness, just interesting. Hello, gracious viewers, and welcome to Vegetarian Elite on Supreme Master Television. On last week's episode, we were introduced to the multi-talented vegan actress Spice Williams Crosby and her impressive career spanning film, television, and bodybuilding. On today's program, Spice shares how a near-fatal car accident, a drug overdose, and a conversation with God led her to embrace the compassionate vegan diet. I didn't know I was a vegan when I became a vegan. Um, when people ask me what led me to become a vegan, it, it usually is a huge catharsis for someone, an awakening like, I want to be a vegan. Um, I had no idea. My story begins when I was uh, a child. I went through some difficult times. There was a lot of problems in my family. And um, as a result, I was starting to play around with certain drugs and alcohol. But at 18 years old, I got into a car accident. And I was um, thrown out of the car. I rolled around in traffic and when they picked me up and I went into the operating table, they claimed they were losing me. And I heard them say that and I felt a heavy chest, uh, a feeling on my chest. And then suddenly I felt myself peel out of my body and I looked up and there I was looking down at my body thinking, cool, how interesting. No sadness, no happiness, just interesting. And I thought, oh, I could get a better look over there. And I was there, realizing that there's no shape, no form. We're just energy, just bodies. And so as I was looking at everybody panicking, trying to save my life, I felt this little bit of a tug, a suction-like feeling. As I started to move, colors started to swirl. And I went through this gray mass of air and this bright, huge light and an un a voice telepathically said, you're not going to die. You're out of your body because you're going to be in a lot of pain. Uh, but you're not going to die because you have something very important to do. And I was like, OK, you know, not a big deal. All right. Because when you're out of body, when you're in spirit, it's all good. It's all good. So the next thing I heard was my mom screaming. I slammed back into my body. My eyes opened up. And from there, I segued into a coma for six days. And I could hear everything. I tell all my patients and all my people, if someone's in a coma, talk to them. They hear everything. In her youth and as a young adult, Spice and her twin sister toured as rock and roll musicians. They were affectionately known as Sugar and Spice. But life on the road as a musician and celebrity was not always sweet. In fact, it was through struggling times that Spice had a life-saving realization. The drugs on the road during the 70s, the 60s and 70s, were part of that era. And by 1977, September 19th, I had my third drug and alcohol overdose. And on the third day of that I, comatose state, I crawled out of the bed, through the living room, into the kitchen, pulled myself up on the stove, looked up into the air vent where I knew God lived for that moment. And I said, what were you trying to tell me seven years ago? That whole thing I had something important to do. And then a voice came out of me, a voice that, for those who have ever heard this sobering voice, you know what I'm talking about. It is your soul, it is yourself, it is the truth. And my voice of who I really am as spirit said, okay, God, <laughs> here's the deal. You help me turn my life around, I swear I'll be an image that changes the world. And at that point, I started searching. I put my medical blinders off. I went into holistic, homeopathic, 
I went to a chiropractor. I started changing my life around, changing my diet, uh, investigating uh, the pain that I was feeling in my back. No more drugs, no more drugs, no more alcohol. And I immediately started seeking alternatives from the acupuncture to the chiropractic. But I knew I had to detox and clean out. And one thing that I learned was digestion times. Dairy never breaks down and digests. It's rotted, it rots and putrefies, it's loaded with pus. Lactose, which causes systemic candida albicans, it um, coats everything for 12 hours. And it just, I thought, mm, I don't want that in my system. See, educated people make educated decisions. Mm -hmm. Then I read about red meat. It takes nine to 10 hours for it to break down and get out of your system. And I learned that your stomach breaks down with acids for proteins and alkalines for starches. If you combine the two, they neutralize each other and you don't break down your food 100%. So I had to start combining foods properly. Mm. Now, I love to eat. I love to eat. And so little by little, I started eliminating things that took too long to break down and digest and that would rot and putrefy and would have parasites and toxins and chemicals and carcinogenic hormones. Red meat has 49 carcinogenic hormones in it and chemicals. Uh, so I thought, I'm just gonna eliminate these things. Hmm. And I didn't know what I had become in search of detoxing and cleaning my body out and hoping to spiritually arrive. I arose. I became, in my search, what I am today. When we return to VegShare and Elite after this message, Spice shares why a vegan diet is the optimal choice for maintaining our bodily temple. You're watching Supreme Master Television. I also believe that this envelope of flesh that is a gift that I chose to incarnate into, I have a responsibility to keep it healthy in order for me to stay connected with God. And when, I'm, when you're sick and you're not feeling healthy, it's really hard to stay connected. green to save the planet. Welcome back to Vegetarian Elite and to a discussion with Spice Williams Crosby. The vegan Hollywood action actress shares with us how a simple promise to God helped her turn her life around and in effect inspire countless others. I was doing a TV show called Getting Physical, mm -hmm. and it was the very first time they were starting to show women bodybuilders. And they were interviewing everybody. And um, I said, hey, you want to interview me? Because I used to be really fat, <laughs> and I became a vegan. I used to do drugs. I'm really clean. They weren't interested. They were interested in the other stars of the show. And I was kind of disappointed. I thought, I need to tell my story, because I promised God I would become an image that would change the world. And here I am. I'm co-starring in a very hip show. I, I wish I could get it out. And the next day, you see, be careful what you ask for. You will get it. Yeah. Because we spiritually manifest energy's energy. You know, it's either good or it's bad. And if you spiritually manifest for the good, it'll come to you. The next day, I got a phone call from a gentleman that said, hello, are you Spice? And I said, yes. He said, I'm Paul Oblis. I said, okay. He goes, 
I'm the uh, editor and chief writer for Vegetarian Times. We'd like to do your life story, and we want to put you on the cover. And uh, that started, I've been in over 100 magazines, and I've been able to tell my story, and every time I tell my story and let people know that you can turn it around just one step at a time, a long journey begins with one step. And I've got letters and phone calls, and pretty soon it was uh, you know, me helping other people. Garnering roles in Hollywood for her talent and fantastic physique, it is easy to agree that Spice is a model of vibrant health. For Spice, an animal-free vegan diet nourishes not only one's body, but also one's spirit. And when you start detoxing, cleaning out, and spiritually becoming aware that if we're all of zero-point energy, we're all of this spiritual conscious energy, all of us, everything from a, a rhinoceros to an ant, then anytime you hurt a, a living energy, it boomerangs back. It's a ripple effect. I believe in life. We are living. We're 300 billion cells. We're all living. Mm -hmm. It's life. To put dead food into our body means that we're automatically dying. Mm -hmm. And you can see it under curly in photography, live living food. That's why when you sprout things, they're live, they're growing. You're eating life. When you eat an animal that's been killed, you're eating death. When you fry foods and boil them and bake them to a certain degree, you've killed them. And yet our cells are looking for life. We're not conscious of putting life into our body. We're constantly putting death. And so our cells are dying. From the minute we're born, we are dying. And it's our responsibility to put life back into us. That's why eating fresh fruits, uh, whole grains, soak them, sprout them, um, vegetables, fresh organic vegetables, and all the kind of plant proteins are full of life. It's just ignorance uh, to believe that a vegan doesn't get enough nourishment. Uh, and no, it's funny how people don't say, oh, you eat meat? Uh, you, you probably don't get enough nourishment. People are mistaking the thought of eating something that's been killed dead, rigor mortis setting in, to me is just putting death back into my body. So the principles for me, nothing really keeps me vegan. It is my, my life, it is my faith. Because I also believe that this envelope of flesh that is a gift that I chose to incarnate into, I have a responsibility to keep it healthy in order for me to stay connected with God. And when, I'm, when you're sick and you're not feeling healthy, it's really hard to stay connected. Thanks for spending time with us here on Vegetarian Elite. Please come back to join us next week for the final part of our program on the charming, talented, and versatile Spice Williams Crosby. We will meet Spice family and hear about her experience speaking with Supreme Master Ching Hai. And now, beautiful viewers, stay tuned to Supreme Master Television for Between Master and Disciples coming up next. May your kind heart and gentle spirit guide you on your paths in life. Learn more about Spice Williams Crosby, Hollywood action actress, fitness coach, and co-founder of Spice of Life Veg Products at www.spicewilliams-crosby.com and www.spice-of-life.com. For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash V-E.